Hey there, fellows. Okay, so I've got me this here car. You know what we should do today? Let's make us a transparent sump for the engine. We're gonna make this motor a bit transparent. Then we wash it, pour in some fresh oil, and get an inside look on it. Observe the dripping oil on a working motor, the rotation of the crankshaft, and if things go well, we'll complement that with a transparent rocker cover to get a view from above and below. We've got a lot of interesting stuff happening. Alright, let's do this. Make this engine semi-see-through. And so, in order to make all of that, we've got a piece of plexiglass. We just need to remove the film. Otherwise, if it sticks, you hold on to that end while I pull it this way. We'll never be able to remove it. Okay, so what do we got? This molding machine? Yeah. Uh -huh. Another case of it barely fitting. What else have we got? Instead of buying used, we went and bought a brand spanking new rocker cover and sump. Amazing. And so now we're gonna be using these bits to reshape that glass. You tend to get good results with ABS plastics. And here's hoping that things will be no different in this case. Transparent rocker cover and sump to look inside a working engine. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, let's do this. Plexiglass, three millimeters. Plexiglass, one point five millimeters. Polystyrene, two millimeters. Polystyrene, two millimeters. Check out what we've got here, fellows. In any case, you guys would have just seen the molding process. So these kinds of parts... In all honesty, we've never worked with this type of glass before. Our experience is with black ABS plastic. Good for making fenders, doors and what have you. That worked out pretty well. But here we're apparently a bit short of experience. But no worries, I mean... We'll get up to speed. And here's what we've made so far. So the oil pan, we did get the shape that we were looking for. However, this bit, where you've got all of the mounting points, was always just a tiny bit off. I guess the plastic's not fit for the task. Perhaps it's because we need a slightly thinner material. This thick stuff does work pretty well. So we actually cut out the rim from the factory oil pan. We've got the sealant in there. Now, as you might imagine, plastic is an inherently soft material, and if we were to bolt everything down, it might not have formed a tight enough seal and we would have had an oil leak. This way we can be 100% sure that there won't be any problems. It's still very much transparent. There you go. So we went in a slightly different direction with the rocker cover. It's not like it's subject to any serious pressure. It's not being pushed around, and minor oil leaks we can live with. 
We're gonna try securing it with some windshield sealer, which is pretty sticky stuff. So let's throw the sump on first, pour in some oil, then we glue on the rocker cover and fire up the engine. Let's do this. All right, fellas, look here. We've got that glued on, it's all good, and it appears to be holding on. All seems to be well. We've poured in some oil. Not the full amount, but it should be enough to run the engine. The oil is transparent and all, and down here you can clearly see that oil. And I can see the crank. If you do this, everything becomes red. What a cool view of the inner workings of the engine. We've got circulation, the oil is dripping from above. And now look! The oil is coming down from all over the place. So it's not only by a dedicated channel that it drains, but also from around the crankshaft, the piston rods. You can see everything very clearly. Maybe we should pour in a bit more. Switch her off, Ivan. I guess we pour it in through the dipstick hole. We don't have enough oil. How serious does it look? It's coming from the rods. It's pretty far out. Look, it's coming from the mains, the crank and all that. It's foaming because there's too little of it. And here it looks like it washed out some kind of fraction. See that? Can you film that, Stefan? That looks like... The oil is contaminated or something. See that dripping? Did it wash out some dirt? I thought we washed it. What the hell? Are those metal shavings? Or bubbles? It's not like we can feel it and tell, though I am quite curious to do so. That foam is not a good sign, though. And now let's have a look at what we can see from above. We can very clearly see the chain and the sprocket, and even the valves. The springs and all of that other jazz, the cam, rockers, fire it up. Let's see what's going on up here. Oh, I see you've got fountains of oil up here too. The oil is being sprayed all over the place, next to the chain. You've got a fantastic view of the chain picking up the oil. You can clearly see how everything works, how it's sprayed and why the engine is smothered in oil on the inside. Now we all know. Now we understand. So in conclusion, fellas, now you might think that there's really nothing special in making a transparent rocker cover, but when you make one and see how everything works, when you've got a clear view of everything that's going on, of where the oil is going, where it's coming from, how it's distributed, the way it flows, man, it's like you're looking at the Niagara Falls or something. It's pretty amazing how much oil is reaching the camshaft. I mean, who knew? 
And a transparent rocker cover allows you to see everything very clearly indeed. This gives me a totally different understanding. I didn't know that the drain channels were so huge. You know, on certain cars and on certain motors, those channels do clog up. And when you're going foot to the floor, the revs are climbing, and here you are accelerating for maybe 20 seconds, when all of a sudden the oil warning light comes on, because the oil isn't draining fast enough. Also, it always struck me as curious that almost 7, no wait, I mean 8 liters. Anyway, I never understood where all of that oil went. But it turned out that a large amount is supplied to even the camshaft. It goes up, and apparently it doesn't make it down the drain galleries in time. Which means a teardown and a clean are in the cards for this one. Sounds like a good idea. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this one, fellows. I never saw anything like this, so I was pretty amazed. You can learn quite a few things. Anyway, you saw it all for yourselves, and what matters is that we got this to work. What a neat experiment. This one I really liked. And hopefully you guys did too. And that's all I have for you fellows. Watch us, subscribe, send in those comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.